Good morning. Mike here. Uh, Glenda's behind the camera, at least for a few minutes, until she starts uh, baking here. Um, most of the RVs that you buy today, they come with a cooktop and they come with a convection microwave. Now that convection microwave is a really cool thing. It allows you to microwave things and reheat things and defrost things and so on. But it also has that convection feature which allows you to bake. So we find that a lot of people don't use that feature and it's really a shame because it's an, it's an excellent feature and allows you to make anything from cookies to lasagna to pizzas to whatever and just by using it like a regular oven you'll find that you can do a lot of things with your mic convection microwave that you may not be doing now so this morning to give you an example Glenda's gonna make a sweet treat that I really like with my coffee in the morning she's gonna make biscotti which involves actually baking it twice to, uh, to make that sweet treat that, that we love with our coffee in the morning. Hi, so I'm revealing my special biscotti recipe. You're lucky you're getting this. I haven't shared it with very many people. So the first thing I do is measure everything out and put it in smaller containers because I get a lot of interruptions and I never remember what I have added and what I have into the recipe. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back once I get this all measured out. Just in case you haven't heard this, you want to spoon your flour into your measuring cup instead of just dipping it in there and scooping it out because you want to get the right amount. So I scoop it on and then I level it off with a knife. All right, I always check to make sure my baking powder and soda are still effective. And I add whatever dry ingredients I have, I add to my measured flour so that that's ready to go. And you never pour over top of what you've already measured. You pour it off to the side and then add it. And then I mix the dry ingredients. Now, my almonds that I buy already slivered, I just chop a little bit. If you're using pistachios, do the same thing. You may have a chopper like this little Cuisinart chopper. And I don't use those when I'm making biscotti because it will grind some of the nuts and it'll just pulverize them and it, into almost like a flour. And that affects the consistency of the biscotti. So you just want to chop it coarsely. So you can use cranberries. I like the cherry infused cranberries instead of buying the dry cherries because they're so expensive. And I add a little bit more than a half a cup because I love these. And then I also just coarsely chop these. Hang on a minute. Let me taste one to make sure they're not bad. <laughs> Yummy. My taste tester. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's talk about baking in the convection oven. Normally it has two racks that come with it. So you've got a lower rack that we're going to be using because we're using a big um, cookie sheet in here. You can also do a double layer of baking. You can have a pan on the bottom and then put the higher rack in and put another pan up here. 
So, and I'll show you the different kinds of pants that I use in here. So today we're gonna take out this taller rack and put the lower one in and we'll put our cookie sheet on this. Things get really hot, so I try and do this, try and remember to do this before I heat the microwave or heat the convection oven. So to get started, you're going to hit, you're gonna to wanna to preheat this and it says in the convection area. So we're gonna hit the preheat button. We're gonna select our temperature, which shows temperatures above these numbers. We're gonna preheat it to 300 degrees and we're gonna hit start. And that will start the preheat process of hooking or warming this up for us. So now we're gonna mix all of our ingredients together. So it's really like doing it in, in, at home and in your oven. You have to preheat your oven to, right. to do yeah. the thing. So it's basically the same deal. It's just like a mini oven that you can actually make a lot of things in. So th the recipe for this I'm gonna have in the description below. So you don't have to write all this down as we go through it. Um, I'll have it down there for you. So it's a quarter cup of olive oil and I use light olive oil um, you don't want a real heavy tasting olive oil to make biscotti. So we've got a quarter cup of olive oil in here. We're going to add three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And we're just going to mix that. And I don't have a mixer in the RV, so this is easy to do by hand. I'm just going to mix that together. Okay. And then we're going to add the vanilla and almond extract. I put in one teaspoon of vanilla ex extract and one and a half teaspoons of almond extract because I love that almond flavor. I'll just give that a little mix. Okay. Oh, I love that aroma. Oh, smells so good. All right, and then we're gonna just beat in two eggs. And I get my eggs out of the refrigerator about a half an hour before I'm gonna make anything to get them warmed up. All right, we got our eggs in there. And we're just gonna beat that. All right. Then you've got a cup and a half, or I'm sorry, one and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of regular salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And I add about half of that. I'll give it... All right, and you just mix it until it's all incorporated. Okay, now we're going to add our cranberries and almonds. Or now, this is where the fun part starts. So you can do pistachios and regular cranberries. I do this almond and cherry. So you can mix it up, however you, whatever you want to add. And you just mix that together until it's incorporated in there evenly. Okay, looks good to me. It's very thick and sticky. Okay, now, Let's go up to the convection oven. While it's preheating, here's a little tip. If you press on the convection button while it's preheating, it'll show you what temperature is. It's preheated to 270, and we're waiting for it to get to 300, so it's almost ready. So we're gonna move all of this out of the way. Now, you want to have a cookie sheet with parchment paper. So parchment paper, 
has a tendency to roll. So I cut it a little larger than the pan and then I fold it down. So to see where to fold it, you just press it into the corner, fold it back, and it will lay a lot flatter and nicer in the cookie sheet. Okay, now we're gonna divide this into two sections and we're gonna make two logs on this cookie sheet. So I just kind of like divide it down the middle and scoop it out. Okay, that means our microwave convection oven is preheated. It's letting us know that. Okay, and we're gonna scoop this out into two sections. Like I said, it's pretty thick and it's very sticky. You want them to kind of be evenly distributed. All right, and you can see that it really sticks to your fingers. So what we're gonna do is just wet your hands. They don't have to be super wet. See, now you can shape it and it won't stick. Now you don't wanna get a lot of water on top of the dough and you don't wanna have puddles of water. So if that does happen, take a paper towel and sop up any excess water. You're gonna cut this on a diagonal so I start it out on a diagonal. Now I gotta wet my hands again. I start it out on a diagonal so that I don't lose my ends. Although we love to sample them. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. So we've got our two logs. They're pretty evenly. You don't want one end higher than the other end. Try and make sure that they're nice and level. Okay, our, we're preheated. So we're gonna open this up and pop our biscotti in there. Okay, now we're gonna hit the convection oven button. Pick 300 degrees, hit start. Okay, we're gonna cook it for 35 minutes, 35 minutes and hit start. Now the turntable is on. You can see it up here, it says turntable on, but I've got that big sheet in there. So I turn the turntable off so that it's not spinning and the sheet won't move. So always remember to do that, okay. So we've got our biscotti in there for the first bake. Now I wanted to show you some of the pans that I use in here. You can use your regular metal pans that you use in your oven. So I went and bought some smaller versions of my casserole dishes and things because they were so large. And there's just the two of us, so I don't need to bake, you know, huge casseroles or pies or anything. And I found this little mini cookie sheet that I love that I use quite a bit and I also have some of my larger casseroles when I'm making um, chicken pot pie or lasagna or something that I'm going to freeze half of it. So you can use metal in there, you can use glass or ceramics like you normally do. There's also silicone cooking um, cookware that you can use in there as well. I don't care for the silicone. Um, it's hard for me to clean it and get it washed up and stuff, so I prefer my old metal stuff. So you can also use a mix of the microwave and convection oven. And there's a low mix bake setting and a high mix roast setting on this. So there's also a slow cook and a broil option. So if you were, if you bought your RV new, 
you might have a cookbook that came with all of the manuals that you got. So it explains you can roast a turkey in there, you can brown things. There's a multitude of different things you can do with this microwave. So if you're interested in that at all, give me a note down below in the comment section and we can go over some of those things. Um, you can also do sensor reheat, which is in the microwave section where you can reheat leftovers in a microwavable plate or bowl or container. It's got a popcorn, ours has a popcorn button, but we don't, um, we make popcorn on top of the cooktop. So we don't use that. Um, and you can also defrost in here. Baked potatoes work great, they come out great. And there is a sensor cook button over here and it's got different, eight different things that you can push and I do baked potatoes in there and when they come out and they're done, I wrap them in foil until the rest of the food's done and they taste just like they were baked in the oven, which is great. So we're gonna let this cook for 35 minutes and when it's done, I'll come back and show you how to slice it and then finish it with the final bake. Okay, so the timer only beeps once, so you kind of have to be paying attention. Sometimes I'll set um, the timer on my phone as well if I'm not going to be in the area. So, all right, so this is done. We're going to hit stop and clear. It really smells good in here. It does. Oh, oh. I wish you could smell it. So it looks nice and brown. We're going to let that cool off about... 10 minutes. So we're going to let it cool here for a couple minutes and then I'll move it over to my rack and let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll slice it and I'll show you how to do that. I want some. <laughs> Just, you're going to have to wait a little bit. If you don't have a giant spatula like this, just use two and go from both ends. Keep your parchment paper because we're going to put, we're going to slice this and put it back on the cookie sheet and put it back in the oven. When we put it back in the oven, then we're going to reduce the temperature to 275. Okay, so now I'm going to slice the biscotti. It's cooled off enough. And so we're going to do this again. We're going to preheat to 275 this time so we'll get that warming up and we'll start slicing this so you want to slice it at a diagonal and I do pretty thin slices so it dries out just the way you like biscotti so our end pieces are our test pieces now you can't slice it too thin or it may um, break so, but I try and do pretty consistent slices. And then we're gonna lay them sideways. Out on here, you can see I did cut one thicker there than the other one. Okay. So if you're not familiar with biscotti, it's a Italian pastry and it's you want it to be dry so that when you dip it in your coffee or your tea, it's just a delightful little treat. It's also good if you're going to have a little scoop of gelato. And it lasts a long time too. It does. And what I usually do because it makes two loaves is I will put some in a airtight container for us to eat right away. And then I lay out just like this on a cookie sheet and put it in the freezer and freeze it. And then I can pull out smaller amounts over the course of the month. I want a sample. So Mike's got a sample. Yay. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Oh, these are no good. Don't make them. 
It's really good. You better and lock the coach up. Not even finished yet, so. All right. That's preheated. All right, I'll put the food in. Hit convection oven, 275. And we're gonna check it after 10 minutes. And that's that what makes it crunchy? Yes. So it usually takes a little longer than 10 minutes. I like it really dried out. So between 10 and 15 minutes. And so you can kind of judge that how you like it. And then make a cup of coffee and sit down and it's wonderful. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we've got our fresh biscotti. Just let it cool off a little bit. And thanks for spending time with us. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you use your convection microwave and do some baking. I actually bake all my Christmas cookies in here that I send out to the family and make lasagna, meatloaf, everything under the sun. So I can't imagine not having it, not baking. So thanks for watching and we appreciate you spending time with us. Like, share, and please subscribe. That would help support us. And we'll see you on the road, hopefully. We are herons on the fly. And we're about to eat some really, really good biscotti. <laughs> Where's the coffee? Well, let's go. We can go make some. Oh, it's hot, too. I like it when it's warm. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Yummy. Mm. We'll see you next time. Oh, it smells so good.